Even before you jump into any market, it is important to test its waters. How deep it is, how difficult it is, and is it going to be fruitful and worth your time or not? So in today's video, we are going to talk about bioinformatics market growth and research report. Now, this market research report, which we have compiled at Biotechnica, is a culmination of discussions with various stakeholders from the industry, from the academia, from government officials, and also uh, various statistics which we could retrieve from research papers and, of course, Statista and CII. So, all these uh, report, all these various reports in different journals we have compiled, and today I am going to present a part of that in this video. Now, to start with, first let us understand uh, how generally a market operates, okay? So, generally a market operates in cycles. So, let us say that it will go for a boom and then it will go for a negative, then it will go for a boom. This is how the cycle goes. It's just like the share market or any market, it will always have a boom and then it comes down or rather we would say is a consolidation phase, right? So, the maximum amount of money is made here and the maximum amount of money is lost is here. So, if you are here, you will make a lot of money. And if you are here, then you're going to lose a lot of money, right? So, this is how all the markets operate. So, let us take example of the artificial intelligence market now. So, what is happening in the artificial intelligence market? Right now, we are seeing OpenAI and Google and uh, Microsoft and all of that. So, somewhere we are here. So, this AI market is going to go up. Right, and somewhere we will see around this. This for the AI market will be around 2050. We will see that the market is saturated, and now it will start declining because there will be two major or bigger players, and rest all small players will get eaten up. So this is how any market operates. Now let us come to the bioinformatics market. So now that we are looking at bioinformatics market. This origin, we can say somewhere around 2004. So, this is where it starts slowly growing. And uh, it was not exactly zero, but I can say it was around $1.7 billion. That's where the market started taking off and the people started putting in money into bioinformatics research. But what was the biggest deterrent then and what it is not, not there now is computing power. So, that time, computers were costly. That is one problem, okay? Even if somebody could afford, the computing power was less, okay? So, the C power was less. The cost was very high, but the computing power was very less. Another problem was there was a problem with D DS, that is data storage, because we didn't have uh, hard drives which could store petabytes of data. Now, what has changed? We are right now somewhere around 20, 2024. Okay. So, what has changed in the last 20 years that we will see? So, right now, the market is somewhere here. Okay. And uh, so, right now, we can say that it is around uh, 17 billion. So, it has become 10 times now. The market has grown by 10 times. But what really worked here is the computing power. So, we have better computing power compared to then. And now, the price of having a powerful computer has gone down. Now, why it has gone down? Multiple reasons. But one of the main reasons for bioinformatics is cloud computing and access to a stronger computer thanks to the AI ML revolution. Now, because of that, so we have now cheaper computing power available and it is of higher power. Now, that brings us to the next. Do we still have the data storage capacity? Yes, we do have. So, when all, of the, all the three dots are aligning in one single line, so it's like a magic, right? And that is why we are expecting now this will actually go even up here and we will see the markets going to 127 billion or more than that by the time we will touch 2044. So in the next uh, 20 years, we are going to see this 17 billion convert to 127 billion just bioinformatics. I'm talking about only hardcore bioinformatics. I'm not talking about application of bioinformatics, AI, ML, and other sectors. If I combine that, it'll go to trillion. I'm talking about the software, bioinformatics softwares, and the bio core bioinformatics research which is happening right now. 
So how exactly the model is working right now is, so we we have USA, which is leading. Okay, United States is leading in bioinformatics right now. But all this demand now, the number of the skilled manpower in United States for bioinformatics is less. And that is where you all come into picture. If in case you want to get a job, a high paying job in the United States for bioinformatics, it is very easy because uh, there is less number of bioinformatician there. You will imagine how desperately they need bioinformatician as recently we were looking at a intern position in Illumina, okay? Intern position in Illumina and they are giving 4 crores a stipend for one year. Total stipend was 4 crores. So Illumina is so desperate to have interns who have bioinformatician, not regular employees also. So that is where the market is right now in the growth phase. So this is the growth phase. It will keep growing. You are right now here. It will keep growing for the next 20 years. After that, there will be a decline and there will be no requirement of new manpower because already the manpower which is there here, they would have taken all the uh, things. So that is where right now, another 20 years, you still have time. After that, new talent cannot get into this market. So the market will not start declining. Rather, I would say it will get, get into the consolidation phase. Now, what is consolidation phase? Let's talk about that now. now. So when you must have seen when Swiggy and Zomato came in India. So these are food delivery apps in India. So before that, there were so many small, small apps like Tiny Owl or various other apps. But today you have only Zomato and Swiggy. So what happened? Other smaller competitors are dead, right? Same way we'll come to the edtech industry. What we are seeing is now there were two uh, big competitors and there were small competitors. Now, what's, it's, it's a reverse phase. These two big competitors are dead and these smaller ones are growing. So, of course, this happens. But you can see that the market is consolidating. That means now new players to get in is very difficult. So, for example, you can see Google and Bing. Bing is a search engine, right? So, Google and Bing. So, there is no third search engine. You see DuckDuckGo is also more or less Google without the ads. So, that's how the market will consolidate here again for all of you. So once the market has consolidated, new companies will not come. So new talent will find it difficult to get a job in bioinformatics after 2044. But from 2024 to 2044, you still have time. Now coming to the next aspect. So once it starts going down, do you think that uh, bioinformatics will go down? No. Bioinformatics will ride the further wave probably of Artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning. That is the future of bioinformatics. So we say that biotech future is bioinformatics. What is the future of bioinformatics? Artificial intelligence, machine learning and coding. Now what is the future of all of this? What will further accelerate is these three. The cost of holding that kind of a computer, the computing power and of course the data storage. So what we are seeing now is more interest is towards save, storing the data in DNA so and making so sure that the DNA is stable enough to hold the data for a longer duration. So that's data storage. Then we are looking at computing power. We are going to see quantum computing coming in by 2024 and that is going to be a revolutionary change for all of us. And then, of course, the cost is going down all thanks to the AI revolution. Today, I'll tell you, I can have a $15 AI computer, I can host it in the cloud and that is capable of running a deep learning model. So basically today the prices of holding high powered computers is lesser than what we used to expect. So $15 per hour I was talking about. So yes, this is where the price is going down, the computing power is going up and then we have better data storage devices. So we, we are seeing a boom of bioinformatics, AI ML in the next 20 years, which will continue Given that if the quantum computing comes in and more data storage, better data storage comes in and we will win this market definitely. So my advice to all those uh, bio professionals, biotech professionals or uh, professionals in other industry also, if you want to ride this wave, now is the time. Once it starts going into the consolidation phase, you and I will keep thinking, I wish I could have jumped in, right? So do not delay you can always jump into the bioinformatics market by enrolling into Biotechnica's 
internship program the link is given in the description which has more details on how exactly we will train we'll not get into that in this video but yes this market research report the detailed one a pdf is uh, is available the link is given in the description you can check it out and uh, let me know what are your thoughts and what are your questions feel free to ask and i will try to answer them in my next video thank you take care keep shining bye bye